welcome to Pantech Solutions. So today we are going to see the demonstration of video tracking. So actually what we do here, we are going to find what is the difference between two images. For this demonstrations, we have DSP stick board as well as TFT display. The DSP stick board is used for uh, uh, processing the image algorithms and the TFT display is used for display the input image as well as output image. So now I am going to load the project into Code Composer Studio. So in this project, we have to load two input. So for that purpose, we have red.h, red1.h, then blue.h, blue1.h, green.h, green1.h. By using this algorithm, we are going to find what is the difference between these two image that is called a video tracking. So now I am going to debug the project to download our output file into DSP processor. So it will take some time to load the project because we have a huge data. So now the program is ready to download. So now I am going to run the program. So this is our first input image. So this is the next input image. So now we are going to find what is the difference between these two images. So this is our moving object. So this is our edge directed output of the moving object. So now you can see the same output in CCS tool. By using image analyzer, you can see the same input and output. So first of all, we have to find, so where our image is stored in our program. So the first image is stored in output. So, and we have to find, what is the starting address of our output variable? So our starting address is C0 2A3000. So here we are using the color image. So we have to choose OGP and the number of pixels per lines is 240 and number of lines is 320 and the pixel strain is 4 and we have to enter masking values so this is depends upon your color image components Mm -hmm. 
So just paste the starting address. And we are reading the data as a 32 bit. So we have to enter 32 bit data type. So by refresh, you can see the input image. So it will take some time to load the all input data into image analyzer. So this is our input image. This is our first input image. So if you want to display the next input image, so just copy the address and paste it into starting address region. Just paste, then refresh. So this is our next input image. Then the output image. So the output image is stored in output 2. So just copy the starting address and paste into starting address region in image properties. So now we can see the what is the difference between these two image. So this is our moving object. So now we are going to find the edges of the detected image and in the moving object image. So it is stored in output 3. So just copy the starting address and paste into image property. Just paste and by refresh you can see the output, edge directed output of moving object. So this is our edge directed output of moving object. Thank you for watching.